Right, we are back here for the final men's final, the open males in lane number one. We got Kyle Army Chaos Squad in lane number two, A, B, and J. Lane number three, the Lions Pack. Lane four, a tiny guy named Keegan. Lane five, MT Commandos. Lane six, Bounty Hunters. Lane seven, Pack Life KSF. And uh, we look at the eighth place. Uh, they were only five points behind that is Kaima Chaos and ninth we had Top Gun Mavericks and in tenth V-Town Buddies unfortunately those three teams falling short of making the final remember it is a staggered start here so what that means is if you had a 10 point lead you have a 10 second head start on the rest of the field lane one Kyle Army Chaos, they are the number one squad here at the moment. And off they go. They are looking to walk away with the win here, but a long workout, 20 minutes. They got a buy-in first up. Then they're going to move to station one, which is calories. It's 50 calories on assault bike, assault runner, assault rower. Once an athlete picks a piece of equipment, they stay on that piece of equipment. Then they got a buy-in again. Then 30 worm uh, clean and jerks. And from there, they'll move into the station round three after their next buy-in, which is uh, 15 dumbbell snatches, six pullovers, another buy-in, and then that 50 axle bar thrusters, which is at 40 kgs. A, B, and J, lane number two, they are underway. In the next few seconds, we'll see the Lions pack, lane number three underway. And... Uh, Lions pack underway, a tiny guy named Keegan underway. You'll hear Hooter soon and then MT Commandos will be underway in lane five. There goes lane number five, they are underway. Next up, Bounty Hunters in lane six. see lane one there still massive lead at the moment bounty hunters next up pack life ksf and there they go all your teams on the floor now they will have the remaining time to try catch the leaders out in lane number one kyle army chaos squad Kyle Army Chaos Squad, they are already on station one, which is calories on the salt bike, calories on the salt runner, calories on the salt row, and that is 50 calories that these athletes are gunning for. See the rest of the teams here, Pack Life KSF out there in the back and then uh, in between the, him is, them is bounty hunters and then empty commandos that are right in front of your screens right now in the black shirts with the white on the backs We're running past the camera a tiny guy named keegan and there we have it the men that are leading at the moment that is kyle army chaos squad And a co-presenter here at It's Happening, Ron Potriter, Pistol Potriter. And the big man. Interesting that they went with a big man to run on the, the, the runner there. And then we got the men here on that assault. So it's Christian and Jason. Finishing up there, calls his judge. He can chill out a little bit. Making sure that he's staying hydrated. And 
as we uh, get that shot out there a little bit, we see A, B, and J just to the left there. A, B, and J, they are working hard to try to catch. And just to the left there, we have the Lions Bay. Lions Bay looking to get onto that podium and stay there. Well, they sorry, they are on the podium. They're looking to stay in that third spot. You can see there, Edouan on the bike there, just having a look over to see what's happening next to him. And there we see A, B, and J. They are moving now into buy in number two. Same protocol will follow. It is 10 burpees over line, 20 air squats. And then they'll move to station number two, and that is the clean and jerks with uh, that uh, sandbag, that worm. The worm is 80 kgs, of course. And then those dumbbells will be 30 kgs when they move into station three. Lane one with a clear visual on uh, their opponents right now. They got a nice, decent lead there at the moment. Just watch for them. They'll be uh, finishing up those air squats soon. A, B, and J just starting their air squats. A, B, and J on your screens at the moment. They are in that second spot. Couple of reps behind Chaos Squad. In third place. Big battle in lane three, four, and five. That is the Lions Pack, a tiny game named Keegan, MT Commandos, Bounty Hunters. And here comes lane seven. Very, very close for that number three spot. Lions Bay hanging on for the bronze medal at the moment. Cross with Kyle Lomi with their clean and jerks, 30 of them. With that worm, 80 kgs. So this way it will be uh, fairly easy for these athletes. And for these athletes, it's more of a management system, just managing those energy systems, making sure you don't blow out too early. You'll see that they're most likely just holding on to the pace at the moment. But I don't want to uh, put the pedal to the metal just yet, keeping uh, the tank nice and full for when they get to those thrusters just a little bit later in station four. Next up, that's station three. Station three is, as I mentioned earlier on, a hairy one for these athletes as uh, they will have three rounds of 15 dumbbell snatches at 30 kgs has to be synchronized both dumbbells uh, have to touch the floor at the same time both heads and then they go into those pullovers six pullovers and that is synchronized so you'll have two athletes on the pullovers Uh, two athletes doing the pullovers, one athlete will be in the holding pen. And then they'll have their buy-in once again and then move into that final station, 50 axle bar thrusters with 40 kgs. Lightweight, but different stimulus, a little bit faster. Means that uh, using a little bit more uh, oxygen, that lactic acid will kick in a little bit earlier than if it was a heavier weight. Heart rates will skyrocket. And then it's how well do you manage redlining? Are you able to hang on mentally? Because then it becomes a mental gap for these athletes. Are they willing to stick in that pain cave, suffer a little bit to hang on to uh, whatever middle position they are in? See, uh, 
Kyle Army. KL Squad moving on to their next buy-in. A, B, and J, the line pack. A tiny game named Keegan, empty commandos, bounty hunters, all still vying for that third place position. You'll see A, B, and J, they'll be finishing up soon, soon. They are currently in second place. And there you go, they are heading out. And now it's going to come down to how far behind are the Lions pack at the moment from second place. Our first place leaders at the moment, Kyle Lomi Chaos Squad. They are doing a good job defending their lead at the moment, just making sure that they don't blow out. They've got a decent lead. They're keeping a close eye on the team to their left, our rights. A, B, and J. So remember, these athletes will have 30 squats. And uh, Chaos Squad, about 26 rep lead over A, B, and J. And you can see there, Lions Bay, they're starting to struggle just a little bit there with uh, their burpees over the line. They've got 15 burpees over the line that they need to complete. And it needs to be synchronized at the bottom. You see there, just at the back there, to your right, we see Chaos Squad. They are on those snatches. 30 kgs, 15 reps. Has to be mirrored and synchronized. Then they're going to move on to those uh, pullovers. Synchronized pullovers makes it a little bit more difficult for the athletes. And the sink is at the top. Uh, no rep there. For Ruan, both heads of the dumbbell have to touch. Ruan acknowledging. You can see there, Ruan, just make sure he looks over every time he does a rep, just to make sure that he does sink. And now you're going to see synchronized pullovers here. Ruan uh, telling Christian that Jason must come in for the synchronize. Little countdown and off they go. Remember, sync is at the top. They don't have to sync at the bottom. But those elbows must be locked out in a straight position at the bottom as well as the top. And that's what these judges are going to be looking for. Still plenty work to be done here. Seven minutes, 25 seconds remaining. And this is only round one of three for these athletes. Christian coming back in for the Chaos Squad. They're going to be looking for those uh, synchronized snatches with the 30 kg dumbbell. Lions Bay now, they're still hanging on to that third spot. You see them there just at the back of your screens, but chasing them. Yeah, we see lane number four. That is a tiny guy named Keegan. They are on their way now. They uh, can smell that bronze medal around their neck at the moment. And they won it. So they are going to be chasing down hard for Lions Bay's number three spot. You can see a no rep there. Unable to get his hips over the bar. And that is A, B, and J really struggling with those pullovers.
Bounty Hunters, Pack Life, all moving on to their three rounds. Remember, Sink at the top, they do so. And athletes really, really starting to stake strain here. Unwillingly going into the red zone now. As the rest of the weekend and the workouts start catching up to these athletes' bodies. A, B, and J falling off the pace, opening up the door here for Lions Bay to possibly get themselves a silver medal. I had a chat with them earlier yesterday and they said they are here for a podium spot. Putting it out there, letting everyone know that they are here to compete. And you can see there, Lions Bay now also starting to struggle with those pullovers. And it looks like it's uh, Vimpy as well as Matt on the bar there, doing a little bicycle. A, B and J. See all the spectators cheering on their teams. All too happy to wave to our cameras here. You can see a great atmosphere here. Yeah, if you haven't uh, been to a battle before, make sure you buy some tickets. Head on over to Monte Casino tomorrow and then uh, experience this awesome, amazing atmosphere. Tomorrow we have our ladies taking on uh, these workouts. Uh, they'll be kicking off tonight, starting off with functional fitness and then into the liftoff. We'll be covering the liftoff tonight. Just giving you a highlight package there of uh, the lift liftoff, just because it is quite a long workout to film, so it's more a highlight package. Not the same setup as we have here. You can see that buy-in here. Jason in the middle, struggling here right now. But I think they have a healthy enough lead to make sure that they walk away with the win here. Jason really, really struggling. Ruan calling him on. As I mentioned, unwillingly, they are in that red zone now. You can see they're starting to breathe a lot harder heart rates probably through the roof here comes a b and j do they have enough in it to get themselves possibly into a gold position with three minutes remaining plenty time to cause some destruction here and get themselves into a gold position a little bit slow off the bottom of the floor they need to pick that uh, tempo up a little bit if they want to catch the men in red And the men in red moving on to those 30 air squats. And yeah, you have it. Your current leaders. You can see they're all in the pain cave now. They are just fighting that lactic acid. Just keep going. And they're moving on to those thrusters. The final station with a minute 50 left. Will two minutes be enough for them to finish this workout? As we see the rest of the field. Pack life in lane seven, lane six, bounty hunters, lane five, MT commandos, lane four, a tiny guy named Keegan. They're all battling it out, still on uh, those three rounds of snatches and pullovers. Door currently very wide open here for that third place position. 40 kgs. And after all those air squats, the 50 thrusters are brutal right now, especially with that thick bar. 
making the, the grip a little bit harder to hold onto the bar. Tagging out. With 30 seconds remaining, it looks like Kyle Army Chaos Squad will walk away as uh, your battle 2023 champions. But then that second place position, who will it be? And it looks like A, B, and J will walk away with second. But third place, not a clear sight yet on who will take third at the moment. And that is a wrap. Your champions here at the Battle 2024 Kyle Army Chaos Squad in second, A, B, and J. And beautiful stuff here from the men in red. That is Kyle Army Chaos Squad. Great work. And uh, here we see the, the absolute destruction of this workout. It's an absolutely brutal one. And uh, great stuff from the men on the floor here in the open division. And that, that is a wrap here for us at uh, It's Happening Africa for the men division. Later on, we are going to be covering that ladies scaled, uh, sorry, foundational scaled masters and open so don't go anywhere subscribe hit the like button and of course the bell notification so you know exactly when we go live with our next video we'll be catching you just a little bit later don't go anywhere